welcome to the fifth tutorial video where I'm going to discuss on resolving vector, scalar product, and vector product. Okay, before we start doing vector resolution, remember that vector is a quantity that has magnitude and direction. Let's start with the first step on resolution of vector. We use velocity as our example here. So first, draw the two component of the velocity, that is Vx component and Vy component. The correct method on how to draw the two components are the tear of the x component must start from the tear of the vector and the head of the y component must meet with the head of the vector. The head of each component must be drawn as it indicates the direction of the component either moving to the right, left, up, and down. Next step, label component that adjacent to the angle as cos theta, while component opposite to the angle as sin theta or sin theta. By referring to the example, Vx is adjacent to the angle, so we label it as Vx equal to V cos theta and Vy equal to V sin theta. Next, we can calculate the magnitude of the vector by using Pythagoras theorem. And the direction of a vector can be calculated by using shift tan modulus vy over vx okay let's start practicing our resolving vector skill on this question okay so this video will show how to resolve the three vectors so we have vector a b and c here okay so please remember to draw the component for each of the vector and don't forget to draw the head of each component as it indicates the sign convention for each of the direction for example if the arrow are heading to the right so it is positive and heading to the left it is negative and if it moving upward it is positive and negative if it point downward before resolving the three vector I strongly suggest all of you to draw a table as shown in the video where we have x component and y component. So watch the video to see step by step on how to resolve each of the vector and how to calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. Okay, now sum up all the forces at X component and Y component to get the resultant force at both components. Okay, so resultant force, the magnitude can be calculated by using Pythagoras theorem where we have Fx square plus Fy square. Okay, so the final answer for the resultant force will be 3.35 Newton. And the direction for the resultant force can be calculated by shift tan modulus fx, sorry, fy over fx. So we get 15.07 degree. How to identify either the angle from the positive x-axis or negative x-axis? So we need to draw the direction for 
each of the components. So we know that for x component, it is to the left and for the y component, it is upward. So we can state that it is 15.07 degree from the negative x axis. Next part, we're going to try to do scalar product or solve problem about scalar product. So we're given two vectors, A and B. So it asks to find the value of A dot B or the scalar product between vector A and B. So here I'm going to show how to solve the scalar product between A and B. Okay. Remember that i dot i will equal to 1, j dot j will equal to 1, and k dot k will equal to 1. But other than this, it will all equal to 0. So the final answer for the scalar product will be negative 5 plus 24 plus 4, that is 13. Okay? So for question B, it asks you to find the angle between both of the vectors. So we can use equation A dot B or the scalar product between A and B equal to the magnitude of A times with magnitude of B and times with cos theta where theta is the angle between both vectors. So this is the solution on how to calculate the angle between both vector. So the angle can be written as shift cos 13 over 7.07 .07 times with 8.60 and the final answer will be 77.65 degree okay so for the last part we're going to do example on vector product where we need to calculate the magnitude of vector a cross vector b that are perpendicular to each other so to calculate the magnitude for both both vector we're going to use a cross b equal to magnitude of a magnitude of vector b times with sine theta so here is the method on how to solve the question. Please remember when it said that the vectors are perpendicular to each other, this means theta equal to 90 degrees. So sine theta or sine 90 will equal to 1. So the final answer for A cross B or the vector product between A cross B will be 58.31. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching.